guess what? My father's letting us use his house in the Hamptons to get out of the city. Oh yeah? That actually sounds great. What two people thought would be a way to bring them together. Wow, this is amazing. I know, right? Was the exact thing that kept them apart. I'm so glad we're in the exact same place at the same time right now. Oh, me too. We're definitely sitting next to each other right now. Can you come here? Sure. Oh, actually, why don't you come here? Never mind, just stay on your side of the room. Who are you talking to every night? They're just friends. Look, it was a little FaceTime, okay? Let's be honest, you're no saint either. I see how you look at the guy next door. Who? Dan or whatever his name is, always outside, always doing housework. Don't think I don't notice how you look at him. Well, you want to know why? Because you haven't even touched me in weeks. It's because I can't. A story about love, loss, and isolation. A lot of isolation. Man, I miss all those parties we used to have, where everyone was just standing around all close together. Fine, well, I guess we'll just have to use our imaginations to remember that moment. You son of a bitch. Ow. I definitely hit you harder than that. Why are you never actually around when I need you? I don't know what you're talking about. Have you been seeing someone else? The UPS guy is literally the only other person I've seen in two months. You give me another chance. Give me one too. Ah, we're good. Okay. We don't need to hug it out right now. Yes, I agree. A story about people pretending to be in the same place together when everyone else really knows they aren't. Because sometimes, people aren't just lying to themselves, they're lying to the entire viewing audience too. Hey, do you think anyone actually believes we're together right now? No, I don't. Good night. Night. Oh, damn. Leave meeting.